we need to we need to have oil and gas. We need to have industry. We need to have aviation. We need to have uh, shipping. We need to have all the hard to abate sectors. We need to have all the heavy emitters. We need to have everybody at the table in an open and transparent and inclusive discussion that talks about how they can be part of the solution. How can they bring um, new technologies to the table? How can they bring their resources, their expertise, their knowledge? How can we talk about reducing emissions from a sector without including the members of that sector. It doesn't make any sense. There's no doubt in my mind that the position of the sector has completely changed and that they are engaging with us in an active uh, conversation. The sector wants to be part of this discussion. We've known that for a long time, actually, and we just haven't engaged them in a way that's constructive. And that, that's not just for oil and gas, that's in, across the board in many sectors. We need to have these conversations in a very open and inclusive way, in a way that allows people to, to see success in, in the actions that they're going to take. We need to incentivize action and encourage people to take it. So yes, we can hold okay. one of these. We're representing millions of people who are demanding that polluters be kicked out of the cop space. Yeah. Yeah. To the people all over, to communities, frontline communities, all. they want their profit at all costs, at the expense of our people and our lives. But today we are saying polluters out, people in, polluters out, people in, great. And I just want to stress also that our leadership have been very clear to me and, and our team and our COP president um, that they don't want just another COP that's incremental. They want a COP that is going to deliver real big game changing results because they see just like all of us that we're not on track to achieve the goals of Paris and that we need to take actions and actions today that are going to make a difference to achieving those ambitions and getting us back on track. And that's what our COP is going to be about. So it's going to be about the real actions, the real things that we're going to do today that are going to get us back on track to achieving the goals of Paris.